advertising people get out of the bubble and look at the world. What were the chances that I walked into Hal Reine's office, showed my portfolio to him and Jerry Andelin, and then I got to meet him? No, I didn't even meet him. Hal put me with him. That's yeah. it. That's it. It wouldn't have happened. I would uh, be a okay art director. He'd been maybe an okay writer. I would have been fine. I knew that you'd say that. I knew that. <laughs> you can't let yourself stop in this business. You're always working. David Ogilvy told me that when you're on the bus, you're working. The all day long you're working, you could expend your whole life. And that's true. I mean, you know, when you're half asleep, you're still working. If, if, I, if I go to bed and don't have a good idea of what I'm gonna work on the next day, and I know he said the same thing, I feel like I got nothing. Like, I have to be excited about something. And I find it in, yeah, it could I, be the most insignificant little thing, but I get excited about it. Yeah. No, I wake up in the morning and I go, what cool thing am I gonna work on today? And if I don't have a little list in my head, it makes me crazy. Like, I have to make, I have to get, make that list happen. Oh my God, it's really simple storytelling. And, and, and we have all this media to play in now, but come on, it is still wonderful storytelling. It's humor, it's... Stuff that connects to people. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, nothing's changed. It's the same thing. Pitching is so much fun and so hard when you lose because you put so much into it and everyone behind the camera here, they work so hard. And anything could go wrong or they misunderstand what you're doing or you don't do the best job explaining what you're doing. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and you, you gotta come back to the agency and tell them that, that you've been told that you didn't get the business. That's very hard to do. The first thing you do is you sit, you put the phone down and you sit there and stare into space for a while thinking about how you're gonna tell everybody what just happened. <laughs> I tell you what really feels bad. You pitch and day, day one after the pitch, nothing. Day two, you hear nothing. Day three, you hear nothing. You go, well oh, maybe they're still thinking about it. Now they're telling the other agency they got it <laughs> and you're still waiting. It's a terrible feeling. I'll tell you what really takes Fearless. Is that what Fearless is really about knowing you got 450 people back here that you have to feed and you have to get them a check and they, they have families and dogs and I, that's, that takes a lot of fearlessness. I would say fearlessness is, uh, we don't even know it, we just don't even know it's there. It's just, we're just a bunch yeah. of idiots going in, presenting something we believe in. There's the confidence. If you believe in it and they don't want it, that's okay. And I, I sometimes don't know where that confidence comes from. Like, where do you get it? I, I have no idea. No, no, I still, I'm looking for yeah. it. I think advertising is a big corporate funded uh, exploration into what people love, what they hate, what they find funny, what they find beautiful. And so you gotta, you gotta be interested in everything. I look forward to five in the morning and go outside and get the New York Times. <laughs> and if I can't read it from cover to cover, it's a bad day. A really strong cup of coffee and you wanna know, you are citizens of the world. Advertising people get out of the bubble and look at the world. And you go to movies, don't just sit in bed and watch it on Netflix, which is nice, but go do out, both. go out, go to theater, <laughs> go to art, go do some sport, raise your family, but don't sit in an agency to find the answer.